Hello everybody, Pancakes here, and welcome back to Let's Play the Cursed Forest. So, uh, we're still trying to get around the, uh, this, I don't know what it is, it's like a red glowing orb of light. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but uh, it's been killing me over and over and over again, so. I'm trying to kind of figure out a different way to get around. It's a very, it's very much a matter of trial and error at this point, because the game doesn't really give you that much information as to what you're supposed to do. Maybe going around here. I don't know if I can actually climb on this because usually there's invisible walls that prevent it. Okay, so there he is. I'm gonna try and see if maybe sneaking around the outsides of the map will make this a little bit easier. Okay, let's make a run for it. Let's make a run for it. Come on, come on. Pick it up. Come on. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Uh, he's following me, isn't he? I know he's behind me. Hold on, maybe, and this is just a theory, but maybe what I needed to do there all along was just not look at it. Because I know with the shadow people, you're not supposed to look at them, and if you look at them, they end up killing you, which is bad. Because I noticed that when I turned my back to that red orb, it stopped um, hunting me, or at least it seemed like it did. I mean, I don't know, I wasn't looking at it, so I don't know what exactly it was doing. But it's just a theory. I'm not sure. So it looks like we've collected a number of body parts. I mean, think about. I'm trying to remember what we've actually collected so far. We've got a pelvis. We've got two arms. We've got a leg now, and we picked up earlier, I believe, a rib cage and a spine. So if I'm okay, what was that? Somewhere open passage. Okay, so I'm assuming then that is going to be the road that we tried to travel through in the last episode. But we couldn't because we didn't collect everything. So let's go ahead and try that out. But uh, yeah, so it seems like the two body parts we haven't picked up yet are the skull and another leg. And how much you guys want to bet that the skull is going to be the last thing we pick up in the game? Just a hunch. Just a guess. Usually the skull is very significant. Okay, so let's see... It's, I think we can travel through here. I can't think of anywhere else where that would have been opened up. Yeah, okay, we're good. Okay. Not sure exactly what that was. But that won't stop me. Let's keep going. Okay, I'm hearing some, some really disturbing sounds right now. He's definitely here. He's definitely here. Come on, where are you? Show yourself. There's definitely sort of a, a different ambiance here. It's a little bit more... There's like this low rumble kind of going on in the back. What the hell? Okay, that wasn't my eyes playing tricks on me. There was definitely something that ran across the road there. Oh, he's here. Oh, he is here all right. That's one of the really cool things about this game. It's like it's it sort of plays with your head in the sense where, like there, I just I saw a leaf. I'm pretty sure that was a leaf, but like even the little things like that just totally screw with your head, and it makes you think everything's out to kill you. I love it. Okay, what the hell is that? That doesn't look like a skull. Let me pick this up. What the? God damn it! What the hell? <laughs> What am I even supposed to do there? I mean, that's 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 unavoidable. I I mean, I tried to look away. That didn't do anything. Okay. Ah, this game, man. This game, so random. <laughs> and I don't know. I'm I'm not sure if that's even avoidable outside of just not picking it up because they don't really leave many hints around as to what you're exactly supposed to do. So. I do know what I'm not supposed to do, and that is I'm not supposed to pick up this piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah, go away. Alright. Got a lot of light ahead, though. Maybe we've reached another location of a body part. Alright, let's check this way. Okay, can't open that. All right, so I guess we should probably just continue along the beaten path. Can't tell if those are blood prints or just leaves on the 
on the boards there. I think those are just leaves. Okay. Oh, we got a blinking broken light. We, we, that always means good things in horror games. Always. Oh, wow. It got really dark. It got really dark. I can barely see what's ahead of me now. Oh, but I can still hear things. I don't like this very much. Okay, let's proceed with caution. Careful. Okay, trees are kind of creaking. I think they're falling. I don't know. But there's definitely... What? What is that thing? It's like a mass. Like a dark mass. Just standing on the side of the road. Can I even walk across this? Like, do I have to turn around? I want to make you go for it. Oh, okay. That's surprising. I thought it would kill me for sure. Given everything in this game seems to kill you. Okay. We got another fork here. Alright, let's go right. It's brighter. I kind of want to get out of the darkness. Well, that's an interesting looking tree. Very suspicious. I bet that tree's up to no good. Looks like there's a body part or something there, though. What the? What is that all about? Hanging bodies? What the hell's going on here? Alright, I'm gonna grab this thing and run. Pick it up. Come on. Come on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. I, I mean, I can't read Russian, so I couldn't read any of the documents. I'm not sure if they mentioned anything about lynching or anything like that, but doesn't matter. I'm a coward. I'm leaving. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't ever have to go back to that tree. Uh, what? That was a scream, right? I'm pretty sure that was a scream. That was a... That was a shriek. That's what that was. Yeah, let's walk towards it, because, you know, good things always happen when you follow things like that. Hold on. Got another fork here. Let's take the less logical path here. Let's go, let's go off the beaten path. I don't know what's down here. Got a treehouse. Or an outpost. I don't know. What is that? I think it's an outpost. Can't climb it, though. That's okay. I'm trying to keep my eyes open. I just know he's going to pop out at me. I just know it. This game is so random, you know? Everything. You never know. Okay. I think I see a house up there. Okay, that sounded like thunder. Anyway. Yeah, let's go check this house out. It's very dark in there. That's that's inviting. Okay, that looks like a bone. It look, looks like a body part. Let's go pick that up. What was that? What the hell? What the hell was that? Oh, hello. <laughs> my character's heartbeat is going crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh, this game is creepy as hell. I mean, I... Guys, you seriously have to try it out. I don't know if, if, if I can do this game justice on YouTube. And this is definitely a game that you have to experience. Like, I mean, I left the link to the download in the description. So, um... You definitely, if you like horror games, you should definitely try this game out. It is creepy. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's just the sounds. It's just the sounds. It's the biggest thing. I mean, graphically, this game is gorgeous. But the sounds, my, I mean, I just, I mean, I got my headset cranked up so I can hear everything. And trust me, it is extremely, extremely disturbing. All right. I was hoping I could turn the power on, but I don't think so. Oh boy. I got a bad feeling about this place. All right, let's keep going. Got a, got a stone here. There we go. Okay. 
Let's get out of here. Yeah, can't do anything else. Oh, God. Hi. Oh, what the? What just happened? Like... Okay, maybe, maybe I'm supposed to look away. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I'm supposed to just look away from her and she'll leave me alone or something. I don't know. Let's try that again. Because I'm pretty sure I need to pick that up. There's got to be some way to get out of there. That's right. There's nothing here. Okay. So hopefully this goes a little bit more smoothly. Ideally without me dying. I mean, that would, that would, be, that would be best. Okay. Let's try this again. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? All right. Oh, come on. Come on. Are you kidding me? It won't let me look away. <sighs> okay. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe I can't pick that up. Maybe that's like that other glowing stone from the uh, from earlier that scared me. Maybe maybe it's just there to to kill you. I don't know. If I have to come back here later, I'll come back here later. Okay. <laughs> I've had bad experiences with these already. Alright, let's check this one out. There's nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what to do about that stone. Because off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything to get around that. But it's okay, you know, we'll figure it out. It's not a big deal. So, that's the end of this road. So I'm trying to head back over to the main road and see if we can kind of get the show on the road. Okay, guys, so I pretty much cut out me just walking back down that road because nothing really happened, and I didn't want to waste your guys' time with that. Basically, we just made our way back here to the main road. So I'm not sure exactly what lies ahead. I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's nothing good. Okay, there's light up here. And this looks, I don't know, what is that? It looks like some kind of a compound. I see like a barn. Is that a barn? It looks like a barn. I don't know. We've got some barbed wire fencing going on. This place must be pretty intense. Okay, we got some, we got something glowing down here. Ooh. Well, that's not a good sign. Okay. Okay, that must be the skull. Oh man, I can't go in here? Let me guess, I have to go, yeah, I'm going to have to go do something else before I can walk in there. So that's the skull, I'm assuming. That's probably the last thing I need to pick up. But uh, well, this is probably a good place to cut it off. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please rate and comment. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys next time.